Good afternoon all. I am Vijay Shree from uh, Career Development Center, Assistant Professor. And uh, I have already attended uh, UHP 1 and UHP 2. Yeah, I have already attended UHV1 and UHV2. And uh, coming to the second uh, point of this, what are the intakes I have taken is, since I have already done my UHV1 and UHV2, I know actually what they are coming to tell. So uh, daily routine and all, I'm just following it. Uh, usually I get up by 4.15, four, maximum 4 to 4.15 I get up. Then I go with my routine work. After that, uh, my breakfast. So my, uh, my breakfast is like by maximum 7.30 to 8. Between that, I'll have my breakfast. And uh, in between, I don't have any tea, coffee. I take green tea a little bit. Instead of hot water, I take green tea. Then uh, coming to the lunch, I maximum by uh, 12.30 to 1, 1 or 1.15. Depends on the class, I'll finish off my lunch. and. Uh, uh, previously, I was not having the habit of uh, walking in the stairs. Now, what I do is at least three to four floors, I walk in the stairs and uh, I use the steps. My house is in the third floor and uh, I usually, whenever I want to come to the first floor or whenever I want to go to the second floor itself, I used to go with the uh, lift only. Now, what I started doing is I started using the stairs. So, that is one of the habit I have changed in these five days. I've, even though I have attended uh, UH 1 and 2 previously, this was the new thing I wanted to make myself. And uh, we don't have the habit of uh, sitting in the floor. And uh, <laughs> when I came here, I saw people sitting in the floor. I was very happy. Okay, every day it will be continued. And uh, second day, third day, started, people started uh, sitting on the chair. But I don't want to change that habit. I Even though I have a uh, spinal pain, I make sure that I want to sit on the floor completely throughout uh, every session and I follow that. Second thing, and uh, depending on my health, uh, because if my health is uh, good, I can take care of my family. That was the key point what I have uh, learned from the, this, particularly in this session. Then moving on to the third key point is, um, seasonal routine that is that is something new to me i have not followed that i am trying to implement it in further cases i will definitely implement that and i will uh, see the changes what is going to happen in my life and uh, since uh, my phd is, uh, is on uh, herbal leaf authentication of herbal leaves using image processing algorithm so little bit of uh, knowledge i think i am having on the herbal leaves so early morning, what I do is I take beetle tea. That keeps my energy throughout the day. Now, I don't do anything, just pluck two or three leaves, add two or three tulsi leaves, boil it, and I'll take a half of uh, cinnamon. That's it. I boil it for uh, two to three minutes. Then when it comes to warm, I drink that. And after drinking that, I, I feel myself as uh, refreshing. Every day I do that. Till date I'm doing it. And I'm seeing, I'm feeling quite refreshing. Herbal is something what we can go with. That is one of the things uh, what I have to say. Uh, there was a little bit of uh, conversations when it was uh, talking about the herbal leaves and all. So in, I wanted to make it clear here. And aloe vera is very good for skin. I usually apply it with my henna. Whenever I put henna, <laughs> henna I apply it. Uh, small, I have sinus problem. But uh, I minimize that time. It is not that I don't use it. I minimize the time. I take, instead of keeping it for one hour, I keep it for half an hour. Like that, I have uh, taken aloe vera and all for my health. That is also working out. If, if we are going with some herbal things, I think a small sort of changes might happen. As a person here who is uh, undergoing all these things, I can feel myself uh, small, small changes. So that is one thing what uh, I am planning to implement again and again. Then moving on to the third, oh, what is that? It is uh, holistic human health in the educational curriculum. It is very good if we implement it, but we don't know the uh, kids' mentality now. 
we cannot uh, force anything to them. But if it is there in the curriculum, it might give some sort of small changes in the upcoming generation. That is what I feel. And I thank the entire team for uh, organizing a very good uh, workshop, as well as Mrinali ma'am and Supraja ma'am. I'm thanking you a lot for giving an opportunity for this workshop. That's it.